Hey everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can change the path for your views while animating from start till the end. By using motion layout, you get all sort of animations, which is having some sort of default trajectory when moving from one place to another place. But what if you do not want to follow the same path and want to change it based on your need? So you can do this by using the keyframe and we'll see it today. First of all, switch to the main layout and convert it from constant layout to motion layout. So I've already converted this to motion layout. And the prime reason of using the image filter view here is because it gives you an ability to set two images, one as a source, another one as an alternate source. And as you change the crossfade value, whatever image which you have given as an alternate source, that will be replaced with the source image. You can think of it like setting an alpha values. If you set crossfade 1, then alpha for the source may go 0 and alpha for alternate source may become 1, something like that. But the best part is that while changing from one view to another, it also animates. So it gives a fade animation. Okay, so now here I have not defined any constraint. The reason is because as I have defined this constraint in the scene.xml, so whatever I define it here, all those things will get overridden. And that's prime reason that it's not been defined here. Uh, the circular shape which you're seeing here, it's all because of the fixed width and height and the round percent of 50. Okay, now let's switch to the scene.xml. In scene.xml, we have transition. Inside this transition, we define the start and end, the duration for the animation, and when this animation should start. Here I've defined it on a click of the image, which is at the bottom of the screen, start the animation. Where the animation uh, should toggle between the start and end. And that's why I've given click action as toggle, which means that if I tab at the bottom of the image, this animation will start and after that, if I tab on the same image once again, you'll see the reverse of this animation. And here it goes. I have tabbed it again, and now it is following the same path once again and will settle down to its original shape, size, and place. So all sort of things you get it by default with motion layout. It's not like you have to define the path once again to animate it back to its original position. And now the main part, how do it is following that trajectory? That is all because of the key frame set. Say that if I do not write this part, because it is purely optional, it's not like you have to mandatorily write these things whenever you are using motion layout. It's all about when you want to change the attributes or the path for animations. Okay, so now I've removed it. Let's see what happens. So now because it follows the default animation, which is the linear animation. So as soon as I tab here, it will go from here to the top following a linear path. Because I do not want this path, so I have defined key frame set. Let's see what do I have written here inside this keyframe set. You can define the key attributes, key position, key trigger, key cycle, and key time cycle. Here for this animation, I have used key position and key attribute. Key position is a place through which you define the path for the animation. This is the most important part, key position type. Based on this, Whatever you define here as percentage x, y, frame positions, all those things should also differ. Relative path is from the start till the end, whatever is the position, wherever you are placing this image, it follows that path. And based on that path, you define your percentage x and percentage y. For example, in our case, it is following a straight linear path, which is the image at the bottom is going and settling down on top of the screen, which is a linear path. So this relative path is something you can think of as the 50% of the screen, which is going from bottom till the top for the bottom image, and for the top image, going from top to the bottom of the screen. Percentage Y of minus 
2 means minus 20 percent so because it's path relative that means from the center of the screen move towards 20 percent right side now to show this we have a very cool feature offered by motion layout you can say like show path true and also debug this by giving show all now let me run this now you can see the path followed it during the animation and for this key position whatever dots which you are seeing on screen they are all key positions now in our case so we are talking about IFV profile IFV profile is this top image so image at the top of the screen now it is following a trajectory from top till the 60% of the screen and 20% from center of the screen which is this point so from center move towards right side by 20% this is what it means by percentage y percentage x with respect to the path relative and frame position now this is really important what do this mean is that see from top till the bottom because we are starting from top and ending towards the bottom of the screen so you can think as if there are 100 frames in between and on what frame you want to do this sort of changes for the path for the attributes this you have to define here 20 doesn't mean that you have say a straight line here of 20 number and at that place it is doing some sort of changes it's, it's not like that it's like when you are starting the animation all those things are divided into frames and on the 20th frame that means as soon as the 20th frame is hit you want this view to follow this path based on your percentage x and percentage y same way for this one for example at the frame position 20 now after following this path I also want this to scale down from 1 to 0 0.8 and having a rotation of 10 degree at the same frame position so it's not like you can only define one attribute here you can define your key positions key attribute or or other things also at the same frame position so that is about rotation now I also want to change path from the right side of the screen to again come back to the center for this again at frame position 30 uh, I do not want it to move towards right or left so percentage y is 0 because it's 0 you can completely avoid writing this just for demonstration I wrote it here and then 70% from top of the screen and which is this path so by this way earlier it was at this position now it is at this position at frame 30 and at frame 40 it is at this position which means that at frame 40 60 percent from the top of the screen and move towards left side by 20 percent and by this way you define all this animation so I'm going to put this in the github so if you want to play along with this animation you can certainly try it out but the overall idea here was to just to demonstrate that you can achieve not just a complex animation but you can also achieve those things based on your requirements for changing the size trajectory colors visibility all sort of things you can do with motion layout and uh, this part constraint set that remains same as as my previous tutorial there's nothing much change here it's just a crossfade value which is added here and this is all because I want to have a different image at the bottom and as it is ending the animation I want to switch between to different image and that's why you're seeing crossfade here custom attribute as I said before in my previous video so this is the place where you can set anything which is having a set method provided you have a value defined for integer color color drawable boolean dimension float value pixel dimension and string value if you have any other values then you cannot use it with custom attribute I hope this might be useful for you to understand about how you can change the path for your animation 
If you have liked this video, then please do hit the like button, share it with your friends and do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.